about six or seven years ago, Danny came to me again, wanting to do a sequel. He said enough time had passed. And I was excited by the idea. And I thought maybe there is a second story to be told here. So two years ago, two summers ago, I, I sat down and I wrote the, the first draft of what would eventually become the sequel. The story of the Blues Brothers basically is, this is, this takes place 18 years later when Danny is finally getting out. Elwood Blues has finally been released from prison. He has not heard about uh, Jake's death and once informed realizes that he has lost his brother, he has no career, no future, and he doesn't know what he's going to do. This movie's about family and it's about Elwood's loss and how he redeems himself. And you know, at the end of this one, we have four Blues Brothers. My character is this orphan, and, and Elwood starts to, he has to take care of me because the penguin tells him to be a mentor. Have you ever heard of mentoring? He's like, no. So then he has to take care of me, and, and then the cops think he's kidnapped me. So, my, I mean, my character is this little orphan that's kidnapped by Elwood. Elwood learns rather quickly about Jake's death. He learns that uh, Curtis, the character played by Cab Calloway, died also while he was in prison. Cab had an affair with a woman somewhere in the Midwest, and the product of that affair was me. So Elwood thinks, aha, I have a, a stepbrother somewhere in the world, and he comes looking for me, only to find out that I am the commander of the Illinois State Police. What the story does is it traces the next handful of days when Dan tries to put the band back together and all of the different people they encounter and the adventures that ensue. So I needed obviously a um, somebody with a great male, all-male presence, uh, kind of a Midwestern tinge in the voice if he could do that, someone who could sing uh, and, uh, and dance. I'm working in a bar uh, where Elwood's the MC uh, slash singer and uh, Spieler, Barker, and uh, I've always wanted to sing, so I make a deal with Elwood, and he, uh, I help him out with something, he lets me sing, and uh, wind up uh, rather abruptly joining the tour. You know, Goodman really seemed like, like the one that, that could do it. He was the perfect guy to choose for this, as far as we're concerned. All the guys in the band love him, and I think it's mutual. I think he feels the same way about us. The guy, he's a consummate artist, he's, he's intelligent, he's smart, he's funny. I'm in uh, showbiz heaven. <laughs> <laughs> the most intriguing aspect of this production for me was to continue the story of these characters 17 or 18 years after the first one and they're being played by the same actors playing the same characters and they are 17 or 18 years older. That is very cool. Being back on the set of the Blues Brothers 2000 is a little bit of deja vu for me. Uh, I remember having flashes of the original movie and being on the set with a lot of the same people. So when Dan finally said, we're going to do another movie, he said it five years ago. Well, I expected it to be the following year, and then as a couple of years went by, I said, well, maybe, maybe it's not going to happen. Seventeen years between hits is... it's bizarre and, and wonderful, actually. During the rebirth of the band on the road when we went out and played concert tours, People say, why don't you do another movie? Why don't you do another movie? It's absolutely spectacular. I, I prayed for this event to occur for many, many years. Well, you know, I don't want to jinx it, but uh, I mean, script-wise and entertainment and all that, I think it's better than the other one. It's a rare opportunity to explore what happens in people's lives that much later without, like, fake makeup and stuff. 20 years later to be able to be here uh, doing what I would have done the first time, uh, picking it up, as it were, 20 years later, is a, a pretty neat. It's all about attitude. Attitude, girls, play back! Yeah, Landis and I have an understanding between us, sort of a shorthand. Uh, I respect his, his gift and from where, from where he came, and uh, I think he has a mutual feeling that way. We like each other. John Landis is exactly the same. He looks exactly the same, and he acts exactly the same. Uh, and he maintains his sense of humor on the set. And I think that helps uh, keep everybody uh, 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 loose and jovial and uh, not too serious. And ready? Action! This man is showing that he really knows what's happening, making movies. He's very funny. He, uh, 
He'll scream after a day. Brilliant, brilliant, great, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, we'll do it again. He knows us pretty well, you know. Uh, they didn't have to throw up any magic mirrors or anything. We all know each other, so it's been a lot of fun. He's very warm, very considerate, and he's driven. Comparing the uh, first Blues Brothers movie to this one is sort of like the old hippie who says, uh, if you remember the 60s, you weren't there, you know what I mean? <laughs> all right, here we go, everybody. John is having so much fun shooting this thing, and Dan and everybody is having such a great time that I think that it comes off on the screen. The, the blues are not about all the artists who've, who've gone before and been venerable and should be recognized for their old contributions. Uh, the blues is about, you know, a, an ongoing feeling in, in American culture that uh, will never go away. Dan is not given the credit. Do you him. know what's worse, uh, the, the rain uh, here or also the blues You wrote it! <laughs> He's really a good actor and has broad range. His parents did a fine job raising him. This, this guy does what I think any of us said. If I win the lottery, here's what I'm going to do. Well, Danny, we know, is a very successful man, a very creative man. But he's so well-intentioned in all his efforts. He's so helpful, kind, generous, all the, the positives you can say about a person. We've got an extremely uh, hard-working crew. Uh, they've been really positive it for us. And, you know, this is sort of for them in a way. They're walking around with smiles that are just hurting the back of their heads. And uh, so, you know, it's a lot of love in the room. I love and respect for these tremendous artists on stage right here. Working with him again here in the movie is just, it's just wonderful. I, uh, I, at one time I thought maybe I didn't know whether it was going to happen again, but it happened, and I'm so happy. I'm very, very happy that it happened. Danny has just been phenomenal in pursuing this and making sure that it happened again. He is just, uh, he's a godfather. And, and he's, uh, the world needs more, the world needs more Dan Aykroyd. One, two. The Blues Brothers and the Blues Brothers Band treat this music with respect and give it right tribute and, uh, and play it well. And um, so it was just really uh, kind of a, a verification of what we're up to. Did you hear who some of the members of the, of the Gator Boys were? Pretty much everybody. It just blew me away. I was, you know, I was looking at Bo Diddley and I'm looking at B.B. King. And I'm, you know, I'm looking at Mr. Vaughn. And, uh, you other guys are we ever clapped in? Oh, Jesus Christ I'm going how did they get these people here all in one I mean just I mean they all we all were together I can't believe that I like being in the Blues Brother movie because there's a whole bunch of characters in it I mean this is probably a literally a once-in-a-lifetime grouping of some of the best musicians in all kinds of music that have been around forever. I mean, this is, I, I'm just thrilled to be here. I'm playing with people who I grew up listening to, people who I had heard many, many times before I'd even picked up an instrument. So uh, I'm thrilled. I'm just uh, honored to be on the stage with them. Love it. Oh, love it. <laughs> God, history is being made. I love it. We just had a good old time. This devilish thing is going to be out of sight. I think they'll just be, you know, literally pushed out of their seats and, and start jumping around and start dancing. I can't wait until tomorrow and the next day when they're going to be even more just play in front of us. The sequel has been a validation of how successful we were in certain aspects of the first one, in terms of calling attention to this great black American music. And uh, it's been very gratifying who is in the new one, who has contacted us to be in the new one, is, is very exciting. Bruce Brothers 2000, see it. Thank you.